and welcome everybody. It's Ann Lefkowitz with the Graceful Yogi, or I am the Graceful Yogi and Pilates teacher. Today we're going to do TheraBand class 40 minutes. So I actually have three different TheraBands here because I couldn't decide. Um, so I have a lightweight one. Here's a heavy weight one, and this is supposed to be medium, but it feels heavy. So we'll see what happens. We're gonna um, stretch out a little bit because we're gonna be doing um, about six exercises that'll be arm and abdominal related. So let's just come to our mats and have your feet nice and uh, planted into the mat, hip width apart. I just want you to open up your arms to a T and then we're just gonna rotate those palms up to the ceiling and Feel your feet and heels connected into that mat. Push the heels apart, stretch the arms, fingertips away, shoulders, arms, stretch out. Now rotate the hands, shoulders, arms, all the way down where the thumbs face down. Beautiful, inhale, roll back up, palms face up. And now roll those arms so the thumbs face down. We're gonna do two more, roll those Arms nice and long, palms face up, belly draws in, and then roll back down. One last roll, roll those arms, pull them apart, and now roll back down and put those thumbs face down. Draw the arms down to the sides. You're gonna inhale, draw the arms up nice and long, fingertips are spread. If you wanna look up, you can, or you can look forward. Reach a little bit more. I want you to feel your sides getting long. Long, 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 long. And then gently release the shoulders down and then draw the arms all the way down. We're going to do a second set of that, okay? Inhale, draw the arms up. And reach up, reach up. Maybe you do one at a time and pretend like you're reaching further. Reaching up, 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 up. And now reach a little more and then what I want you to do is just let the shoulders come down a little bit and then draw the arms down to the sides. You're gonna take your hands behind your back, clasp the fingertips together if that's available to you. You're just going to reach those palms, those thumbs towards your tailbone. Reach them down towards the tailbone. Dig the heels into the mat and then relax a minute. I like bend my elbows a little bit and let my uh, palms kind of sit on the back of my lower back for a second. And now I'm just gonna reach, straighten those arms, roll the shoulders back, dig the heels, press the heels apart, roll those shoulders back, roll them back, and now release. Beautiful, release, shake out the arms a bit, and now we're gonna begin our class. So come down to your mat seated, all right? We're gonna do these um, nice little wide rows is what we call them. So you're going to have your uh, TheraBand at your feet, okay? A TheraBand at your feet. I want you to open up your feet a little bit wider than what, just a little bit further than hip width apart. Okay, so you're gonna be just sitting up nice and tall. All right, and you're gonna have kind of a tight little, tight little uh, uh, resistance on your bands, okay? I'm just gonna gently kind of hold my bands. So this is posture work, okay? This is posture work. You could wanna try to sit up tall. If you can't sit up tall, put a little pillow or a blanket or something underneath your tailbone, okay? Feet are flexed, and all we're gonna do is we're just gonna do these wide little rows is what we call them. You're gonna cross your band right in front of you. Feet are flexed, okay? Your elbows are kinda up into a uh, V, if you can kinda see me, and you're just gonna pull it back and then draw forward. Pull back two, and draw forward. I have to tighten my band resistance and then draw the arms forward. Pull back three, and come forward. Four, and 
and come forward. I hope you're feeling that in your abdominals. Five, and come forward. Six, and come forward. Press the legs apart. Seven, arms forward. Eight, we're doing 10, and forward. Nine, and 10. Pause a moment there. If you need to waddle a little bit side to side on your hips, go right ahead, your legs. All right, feet are flexed. Next is alternating seated wide rows. So again, your arms are gonna be out in front of you. You've got your bands and we're just gonna rotate to the left. Look at me pull and twist. All right, and then come forward. Rotate to the right and come forward. Here we go, number two to the left and come forward. You're bending the elbow. All right, here we go to the left, number three and come forward right and come forward beautiful here's four five six seven eight Nine. Last one, 10. And then release a minute, shake it out, put your arms down a little bit because the next one is we're gonna pulse it. So you twist and we'll pulse 10 times and then we'll twist the opposite way and pulse 10 times, all right? I still have my band crossed in front, right? It's crossed in front, my feet are flexed, all right? I already feel this in my arms. Draw the arms up, they're straight in front of you, but up. And now you're gonna go to the left, twist to the left, and now pulse it. Elbow back, one, two, three, four, five, sit up tall, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, arm comes directly in front, twist to the right, and elbows up. Here we go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, whew, nine, and 10. And draw the arm back in front, and then just kind of roll forward a little bit, shake your legs out. Woo, all right. Next exercise is going to be where we're going to work on our biceps. So I'm going to uncross my band in the front, dig my heels in and have a slight bend of the knees, a slight bend of the knees. Okay. So here's where you have to kind of like, I'm going to switch and have my hands. Uh, I always get confused where I'm rolling the band. <laughs> Here we go. All right, it's just so I don't like, I'm twisting my uh, hand in and around the uh, TheraBand thing, all right? So your arms are gonna be out in front. You're gonna lean back a little bit. We have an abdominal curl happening and you're using your abdominals. Pull the abdominals back, look forward and now Curl, arms forward, and stretch them out. Curl number two, and release, extend. Curl, three, and release. Pull that abdominal back, four, and release. Stay out of the neck and shoulders, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, 10, extend the legs a minute, release just for a second though, you got it. And now the next one is we're gonna open up our arms to cactus, all right? So you're going to come back where your knees are slightly bent, the heels are into the mat. Arms are directly out in front, 
All right, so we do a bicep curl and then we release, wait a minute, bicep curl and then open to the sides into cactus, bring it back and extend forward with the arms, all right? So you have a bicep curl, open to cactus, bring it back and extend the arms. Bicep curl two, open cactus, back and extend. Three, open, boom, extend. Bicep, open, and extend. Five, six, seven, eight. Feel it in the traps. And nine, my band is too heavy. 10, cactus and back and fold forward. Are your arms burning? Because mine are. Whoa, I'm just gonna switch to a lighter uh, band because this next exercise is pulsing, all right? Same uh, position, heels into the mat. Band at the feet, arms out in front of you. Curl back, tuck the belly in. Bend the elbows and now you're just gonna kind of reach up and draw it down. Reach up one, draw it down. Two, draw it down. Three, four, five, six. Tuck the belly in. Eight, nine, 10, Woo. release, and turn to your side. We're gonna do um, single leg, actually, sorry, roll onto your back. We'll do the side next, but we're gonna roll onto our back, and we're gonna do single leg kick, shoulder bridge, all right? The beauty about doing this 40 minute um, routine is we get to do a second set and then we get even better at uh, those exercises we just did. All right, my right leg is up in the air, the band is underneath the right foot. The left knee is bent, the left foot is on the mat. We're uh, connecting that lower back to the mat and so what's gonna happen, you can cross the band if you want or you can leave it um, you can leave it, uh, uh, not uncrossed. Um, I think I'm going to cross mine and, um, my arms will be not directly out to the side. They're going to come down a little bit. If you can put them directly out to the side, go right ahead. Mine are com coming down a little bit, slightly above my hip. So these are hip dips with a leg extension. So we have to stay up everybody for 10. All right. Inhale. Exhale, raise up, extend the leg long, not all the way down, and draw it back up. Extend two, and draw back up. Three, and back up. Four, and back up. Press that left leg into the mat. And up, here's six, and up. Seven, and up. Eight, and up. Nine, and up, 10, and up, and bring the hips down. Switch the band to the left leg. If you wanna cross the band, go right ahead. All right, here we go. Inhale, exhale, lift up. Extend the left leg, one, and back up, two, and back up. Three, up, four, up, five, up, six, up, seven, up. Press that right foot into the mat. My arms are working. Nine, up, 10, up, 
and bring the hips down, release that band. We're gonna put it back onto the right leg, but we're gonna come up kneeling first. So we're gonna do our side uh, leg kicks, which you guys all love. I love them. So I'm on kneeling on my left knee. I'm gonna take both bands and put them onto the floor, all right? And then I put my left hand onto the band. Now you can wrap your band around your foot and then just have one band on the mat. Just depends on how you feel. Ooh, this feels good. Just doing a little stretch here, my right arm up. My right leg is extended nice and long. All right, here we go. Lift that right leg up one and draw it down. Two and draw it down. It doesn't have to go up really high. And back down. Four and back down. Five and back down. Six and back down. I'm feeling it in my abdominals. Eight and back down in the inside of my leg. And the outside, the top of my leg. Last one. Ten and down. Beautiful. Come on up and we're going to switch that band into the left leg. Side leg kicks. Very nice. Again, if you want to put both bands onto the mat and put your right palm on top of it, go right ahead. Find your length here. Maybe you add a little resistance by pulling the band a little bit more so it's tighter. All right, I've got my left arm up and I'm whoo, feeling that stretch right here on my left hip. I may bring my knee a little bit towards that left leg a little bit for an angle. It's not directly underneath. And now I'm gonna lift up one and draw back down. Two and draw back down. Three and back down. Four and back down. Five and back down. Six and back down. Seven and back down. Eight. Two more, nine, ten. All right, everybody, that's hard work, okay? All right, back onto our backs. Double leg circles, everybody. So you're gonna put your both feet into your resistance band. band over and I'm going to wrap the band around my hands that way I'm not futzing all right so double leg circles where your legs are straight up to the ceiling if that's available if you can do that maybe they're a little uh, at, you know, not, not straight up, but they're away a little bit from you, but you're trying to get them, you know, uh, perpendicular straight up. So lower back is connected to the mat, correct? And you're just going to draw your right, your legs over to the right side. You're going to bring them down into a circle and then draw them over to the left side and back up. It's not a huge circle, okay? Over to the right, we're gonna do five to the right and five to the left. And back up. Use your abdominals to the right. Circle. And back up. Four. Circle. And back up. Last one, five. This is to the right side because we're gonna do it to the left side. And back up, beautiful. All right, here to the left side and circle down and around and back up. Over to the left side, circle down and around. You're coming off the hips, right? If I circle the left, my right hip comes up, I circle down and then I come back up, I'm on 
that right hip. Here we go, four, circle down and around, and then five. Beautiful, release the band, draw the knees into the chest, just for a second. All right, last uh, exercise on this series of 10. Put your uh, band down at your feet again. It's gonna be a teaser, everybody. So cross the um, band in front of you and you're going to uh, be laying down onto the mat. Band is crossed, you're holding on to it with your hands. Your feet are flexed. So what's gonna happen in the teaser, you're gonna inhale, come up halfway with your upper back and you're gonna lift the knees up and pull apart. See if you can come up a little bit higher and then draw back down, but not all the way. Lift up two, pull the, pull the band apart and come back down. Here we go, lift up three and come back down. You're bending your knees in four, and back down, rolling, five, and one vertebra at a time, six, and come back down, legs are lifted, upper body's lifted, seven, and back down, eight, and back down, nine, and back down, 10, and back down, woo! All right, repeating everything that we did. Come to a seated position. Your feet are wider than hip width apart. Your feet are flexed. The band is right underneath your feet and we're gonna do wide seated rows, all right? So the band is crossed in front. My arms are out in front of me and I'm just going to pull so my elbows come back and draw in front. Pull two and draw in front. Sit up tall. Three in front. Four in front. Really press the legs into the mat. Six seven, eight, nine, 10. All right, arms extended. This is separate with a twist. I'm gonna twist to the left and pull that left arm back. Draw to the center. Twist to the right and come on back. Here's two to the left and then to the right, ah, to the left, three, to the left, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Pause a minute there. Shake out your, I'm gonna rock side to side and shake out my legs. This is posture work. It's upper back and arm work. For those of you who uh, sit and as we age, we start to hunch forward. We want to roll back, sit up tall. Feet are flexed, arms are nice and long. We're going to pulse it now. So we're going to twist to the left and then draw the arm back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, draw that left arm straight forward, and now right arm, twist, just pulse. One, two, it's just a little movement. Three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Beautiful. All right. Untwist your uh, band, bend your knees slightly. Heels are in the mat, all right? Next thing is our uh, bicep curl. So we're gonna roll back halfway. Arms are in front and you're just gonna bicep curl. Here we go. One, and release. Two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Extend your legs a minute and fold forward. Just fold forward a minute. All right. Next thing is the cactus, all right? So you're just going to, uh, um, knees are slightly bent. You're gonna roll back slightly. Your arms are gonna be bent to start with, all right? And you're just gonna open up to cactus, draw it forward, and then extend forward with the arms. Bend, open up, and bend back. You don't have to extend. Let's just do open um, cactus, all right? So I'm curled back and I'm gonna open up two and come back. Three and come back four and back, five and back, six and back, seven and back, eight and back, nine and back, 10 and back. Extend the legs out and roll yourself forward. Very nice. All right, last one is the pulsing. All right, the one that's kind of, this is um, an interesting exercise because I feel it um, when I um, really kind of reach up. I feel it in my abdominals and then I draw my elbows back down. So I kind of reach up and draw down, not all the way, their shoulder height. Here we go, reach up one and back, two and back three and back, four and back, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Extend the legs out nice and long. Woo, roll forward. All right. Just put that um, band right in the right foot and you're gonna roll back. This is where we do our shoulder bridge. Bring that right leg up to the ceiling. Left knee, left leg is bent, okay? I'm gonna have my hands out to the side and I'm kind of pressing my uh, TheraBand into the mat. Inhale, exhale, hips up. Extend the leg down. Up, two, up, three, up, four, up, five, up. Reach higher with the hips. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Bring the hips down, switch the band into that left leg. Draw the right leg down, and you can cross the band or not. I'm crossing on the left side. And here we go, inhale, exhale, bridge up with the hips. Extend left leg one, and two, three, four, Five, six, press into the mat with the right leg. Eight, nine, ten. Bring the hips down. Uncross that band a second. 
Next exercise is our kneeling leg lift. So I'm gonna put that band in the right leg and I'm gonna turn so I'm kneeling on my left knee. I'm gonna extend my band underneath that left hand a little bit. My left knee is underneath, not directly underneath, it's at an angle, right arm up. And now I'm just gonna kick my right leg up, one, and draw it down, two, and draw down, three, and draw down, four, and draw down, not so high, five, and draw down, six, down, seven, eight, nine, ten. Sit your hip down and switch the band to the left foot. We're gonna do leg kicks on the left side. When you take your time and you really kind of find your balance and you get some good resistance going, you can really feel the strengthening of the inside and outside. Also, I feel my balance better on this second set. I'm not so wobbly. You gotta really try to keep that torso trunk area stable. All right, here we go. I'm a uh, left arm up, left leg is getting ready to kick up. I'm finding my balance and here we go. Left leg up and back, two and back, three and back, kick it up four and back, five and down, six and down, seven and down, belly in, eight and down, nine and down, last one, 10 and down. Woo -hoo -hoo. All right, double leg circles. And then last thing is the teaser, everybody. Double leg circles, put your both feet into your band. Roll back on your backside, cross the band over. You can have your arms apart on the floor or kind of close to your hips, whatever feels good to you. Lower back is connected. I'm rolling both legs over to the right, circling down and coming back up. Over to the right, circle down and back up. Over to the right, circle down and back up to the right, circle down and back up. Last one to the right, circle down, really engaging those abdominals. Pause, now we're gonna go to the left with both legs, circle down and around, Woo! over to the left, circle down and around, over to the left, Circle down and around, over to the left, three, four, last one, five, nice, all right. You can keep your legs, uh, maybe put them in tabletop, but keep the legs into the strap, into the, TheraBand and cross in front. The TheraBand is crossed in front. So here's teaser where we're gonna roll up the head and chest. You're gonna um, roll on up, bend the knees in, pull the strap apart, and then come back down, extend legs out. Roll back up and then back down. The head does not go back down. You kind of roll up and extend legs out. Three and extend legs out. Notice how you can use that band to strengthen the abdominals when you roll up five and extend legs out. Roll up six and extend legs out. Seven and extend legs out. 
eight, nine, and 10. Come on back down, release the band. Draw your knees into the chest, rock side to side. If you wanna grab your big toes and go for a deeper stretch in the knees and the hips, happy baby. Open up your legs nice and wide if you want to. Keep the knees bent or you can extend one leg at a time. Stretching the back, the arms, the hips in this happy baby position. Some of you may know it from yoga or from other things. Keep the neck nice and long. You can rock a little bit side to side with those legs slightly extended. Ah, and then I'm just gonna draw my knees in, release those toes, and I'm gonna do some rolling like a ball. So I'm gonna find a little momentum, tap the toes down, and roll up two, and roll up three, and four, and five, and then coming to all fours, hands and knees, do a little cat cow, a couple little cats and cows. Curl the toes under, shift your hips back, lift the knees off the mat into a downward dog or elephant. Walk the hands and feet towards each other, shift the hips back, let your fingertips stay onto the mat if that's available. Lift the toes up a bit as you shift the hips back. Your weight shifts towards the back. Ah, dropping the head down. I'm gonna let my fingertips glide towards my toes and then slowly I'm gonna roll up one vertebra at a time, letting my hands come on the front of my legs. Last thing to come up is my head. Thank you all for joining me for TheraBand today. Um, good class. Good to see you all.